So, about months ago, I was looking through Tumblr, as one does. I came across many interesting gifts. As I worked through a couple of these, I realized there are many useful math concepts that if you master, will lay a great foundation for you to start making beautiful things with code. So today, I will start with the most basic, trigonometry and polar coordinates. Trigonometry is a study of relationships between sides and angles of a triangle. We're going to focus on a right triangle trigonometry. A right triangle has one 90 degree angle and three sides. Let's call this angle theta. The three sides of a right triangle are called opposite because it is opposite theta. Adjacent is between theta and a right triangle and hypotenuse is the remaining side. The relationship between the three sides and theta is in the expression you might have heard before. So Ka toa. Sine theta equals opposite over hypotenuse. Cosine theta equals adjacent over hypotenuse. And tangent theta equals opposite over adjacent. With this relationship, if you have two known variables, you can quickly find the one unknown. Why is this useful, you might ask. If you want to draw or animate something in a circular motion, it is easy to think in terms of polar coordinates. But most drawing functions in creative coding tools such as processing or p5.js take x and y position as inputs. Knowing how to convert polar coordinates to Cartesian coordinates is going to be very useful. Let's talk about coordinate systems. A coordinate system is a way for you to define a point in space. To define it using a Cartesian coordinate system, you would look at how far horizontally and vertically a point is from an origin. For example, this point is 4 units to the right and 3 units up. Although in the traditional Cartesian coordinate system, the y-axis increases from bottom to top. In computer graphics, the y-axis increases from top to bottom. So keep that in mind. Now, polar coordinates define a point in space in terms of its distance r from the point of origin and its direction or angle, theta in this case relative to the x-axis. You can see that we're talking about the same exact point, but using two different ways to define it. Here's what this video is all about. How to convert from an R theta to an X, Y position. So we can draw many beautiful circles and do a lot of many other amazing things. We can go back to the trick functions we previously defined. The horizontal distance X is the adjacent side of the right triangle. The vertical distance y is the opposite side of the right triangle. If we know the distance r and the angle theta, we can easily find x and y using this equation. With a little bit of algebra, we can see that x equals r times cosine theta and y equals r times sine theta. Now, let's try it with code. I will be using the language JavaScript in the creative coding environment, p5.js. Okay, so right now I am using the p5.js editor online. So, we're gonna start with defining the x and y variable here. After that, um, so the goal is to see how we would convert um, polar coordinates to x and y coordinates um, using the formula that we just learned. So now, we need to know what r and theta is. So I'm just going to randomly choose the radius of 100 and the angle theta of, say, 45 degrees. In computer graphics, the origin point 0, 0 is actually at the bottom, I mean the top left corner of the screen. So I want to move it to the middle point um, here. To do that, we can use the function translate. Translate, um, and then we're going to translate half of the width of the screen and also half of the height of the screen. So this should move our origin to that middle point. Okay, so now um, what I want to do is I want to draw a circle um, at our an x and y point, which is the this function takes in Cartesian coordinates x and y at a radius of um, I mean diameter of 20, 20. So it's a circle with a diameter of 20. And now we don't know x and y, so we're going to use the formula that we learned earlier of what x equals to r times cosine theta and y equals to r times sine of theta. So the default mode of the input 
the angle input is in the unit radians. But um, as you can see here, we're using a theta of 45 degrees. So there's a trick um, to convert the input, um, to be able to use the degree input. We're gonna change, we're gonna put um, angle mode here and said degrees. So if I were to actually use radians, um, 45 degrees would be pi over four. Um, and then let's draw the origin, zero, zero, at a diameter of five, so you can see where the point of origin is supposed to be. Okay, so you can see that um, in computer graphics, unlike the traditional polar coordinates, the angle goes from goes clockwise instead of counterclockwise. So a 45 degrees angle is at the bottom right um, quadrant here. And then now I can change um, the angle to say 60. So it should move slightly down. I can do 90 and it should be a straight line there. Um, say I do 180. Now it should be all the way to the left. That's it for today. I plan to make tutorials of these gifts that I made, so if you're interested, please let me know and stay tuned.